Oh yeah, sexy biscuits. Nice. This is Terminator 2, or T2, the arcade game, released by Acclaim in 1992. This is on the Game Boy. Yep, it's on the Game Boy. Originally an arcade machine of the same name released in 1991, which is digitized, digitized, digitized shooter from left to right using scaling effects. And basically it was a number of levels where you went from, you know, the future um, to the past and varying characters. I actually had the voice acting of Arnold Schwarzenegger and I believe Edward Furlong, but not Linda Hamilton. Don't know why. Got a gameplay of that on the arcade version. It's a really, really cool, fun game. Now, this was ported to the Mega Drive, which couldn't do scaling effects, the Super Nintendo, which could do scaling effects, and here's where it gets interesting. I thought they had balls ported to the Master System, which, to be fair, is a really, really good port. <clears throat> Excuse me. Cyberdyne infected my throat. This is why I love this period of time, this era. I mean, holy cow, you ported it to the Game Boy, and to be fair, it's an alright port. But yeah, why I love this period is nothing was off limits. You know, they didn't shit their pants and think, we haven't got the grunt to do this as a Game Boy. Let's go for it anyway. Anyway, right, let's get, I can say anyway twice, back to back. Yes, I can. Let's get into it. Right. Obviously, it's going to look pretty poor. Three billion human lives ended on August 29th, 1997. Tough day at the office. Uh, survivors of nuclear fire called the War Judgment Day. I would have just called it a really fucking bad day. They've only faced a new mind the war against the machines. Yeah, it's going to look bad because it's the Game Boy and I'm running it on my TV. But you've got to bear in mind, of, like I said, the hardware it's running on. So, look at that. you got fire. Which, to be fair, does a pretty good job of pissing death. They're self-aware, aren't they? So it does count as death. So obviously no scaling effects. Left to right, top to bottom enemies. You'll see hunter killers in a moment. You can destroy the scenery as well to some degree, which is kind of interesting. I think... There we go. Got it with one shot. you got to shoot everything that falls down. That's where it's... And shoot the shit they shoot at you. Because that's where, you know, this game comes to its own. Is basically... You need everything. I can't talk and play at the same time. This is annoying. This is accurate to the arcade and all home ports. They, they just, you got to kind of defend them, but they just get in the bloody way. Look, I can shoot them, see? Sorry. Sorry. Now, anyway, who's interested about the new Terminator movie? Because let's be honest, Terminator 1, fantastic. Terminator 2, fantastic. Terminator 3, tolerable. Salvation, rubbish. Uh, Genesis, Absolutely pathetic. Who makes a PT-13 Terminator movie? I mean, come on. Honestly, who throws a shoe? Points for the quote. Oi! Saw you there, you bastard. So, yeah. Apparently, Cameron's going to do it. <clears throat> Linda Hamilton's back. Uh, Arnie just assumed he was going to be in it when he met Cameron. And Cameron said, oh, hell yeah. And it's going to ignore or put uh, or everything after Terminator 2 into, I don't know, expanded universe? I don't... I don't need it. And I don't mean to be... Oh, what was that? I don't mean... I died. Shit. I don't mean to be ages, but... Ageist. But sorry, Arnie, no. I don't know. It, it didn't work as a reboot, did it, Terminator? I think it's time to... To let the machine die. Put it down. It's out of date. It's a CRT telly in a world of HD. So I have to say, anyway, off the movies, back onto this. Why are you putting uh, drop-downs between... My blokes, that's like, just asking for bloody trouble. But yeah, let it go. It's had its day. We'll cherish its, you know, its memories and stuff like that. But yeah, anyway, back to the game. This is a pretty good port of the arcade game. Again, you know, it's the Game Boy. What do you expect? I think it plays like it. It's obviously more of a tribute to, and a homage, a cover band, if you fucking hell. That's actually quite cool with that many hands of killers. Yeah, a cover band, if you will, a tribute, but... It's there. Again, like I said, oh shit. If they're HKs, what were these bad boys called? Oh, I don't know where to shoot. 
I know he's raping my health, which is bottom left. No, bottom right. Oh yeah, I got a rocket launcher. Forgot about that. I just been using that on HK. Use it on this bastard. Got your head. Can only be only one and shit. And obviously, it's like the arcade game because it ramps up the diff. That's a shield, right? Ramps up the difficulty. You know, I've got to shoot all these bastards at the same time as dealing with this person. Is that another shield? I think that's a shield. I'm not entirely sure. I might do some of the uh, the other home ports actually, because I'm impressed with this. And if this can do this, then actually, uh, well, I've played the Master System, and as I said, it's a pretty good port. It's a bit glitchy, but again, it's you know a system punching above its weight. Not punching above its weight anywhere like this. Ooh. Party noises. The only downside to Game Boy games. Well, to be fair, not entirely true that, depending on who makes the game. Can I? Yes, I can hold down fire while spouting my rockets. Yep, real phrase. Spouting my rockets. Doesn't seem to be working now. The machines have succeeded. Okay. Okay. Yes, I'll continue. Don't pull me right back at the start. Oh, you bastards. So, anyway, in conclusion, I really am quite impressed with this. Obviously, I'm running on a TV. Obviously, it's way underpowered for it. But it plays like the arcade machine. It really does. It's kind of cool. Like I said, it's why I love this period of times, you know. Like, kind of reminds me, I guess, why I love it so much is it reminds me of the ZX Spectrum, which is nothing was off limits for a port to a machine that wasn't supposed to be able to do dick. Right, anyway, T2, the arcade game on the Game Boy. Surprisingly, a very good port. Anyway, thank you very much for watching, and... Oh, I'll say it. I'll be back. Bye.